It's that time. Jeremy's headed off to work. I'm staying up at work today, so I brought my lunch bag. <laughs> So as it relates to lunch, uh, I used to work at a firm with my brother, Brent, and uh, he would make fun of me because all the other uh, adult attorneys would be in there eating like chicken alfredo or some legitimate meal, some salad with like almonds and some dressing. And I'd be in there with my fruit snacks and like a baggie of carrots and a baggie of a, a peanut butter and honey sandwich. So he made fun of me. But uh my lunch was always cooler than everybody else's. It's my grandmother's birthday. She passed away four years ago and I still think about her all the time. She was a super special person in my life. So I'm just thinking about her a lot today and trying to take a few moments to share memories of her with the kids, share with them some of the wonderfulness that she was so that they can know her. Um, we are getting back into the groove of school. It's 2015 guys. Isaac's working on his self-portrait. And Elise also decided to do a self-portrait. And Kayla, what are you making? I'm making a rock with two things. A what? A rock. A rock. Very fun. And I am hoping to get a chance to sit down and paint as well. All right, I know you're all super impressed. There's my rainbow. I haven't painted in a really long time. It was a lot harder than I remembered it being. But it's one of my goals that when I do activities like this with the kids that I actually sit down and do it with them instead of doing my dishes and my laundry, which I am sometimes sorely tempted to do. So, anyway, the kids have been asking a lot of questions about colors and how they're made and primary and secondary colors. So we're gonna now transition this painting project to a colors experiment. We'll see how it goes. All right, guys, what are the primary colors? Red, red, blue, red, blue, and um, Wow. Okay, and Isaac, what are the secondary colors? Green, orange, and purple. Nice. We are playing a game. We are using these foam dice. I love these things. And we are each rolling a dice, and then Isaac is adding all the four numbers together. And then I'm giving them some sort of a physical activity that they have to do that many times. So right now they're skipping 13 times. They've leaped, they've jumped, they've plie, they've spun. And now I've got them doing stairs. And obviously I would be doing this with them, but you know, Laura needs me. Good job team! Oh, she's down, she's out! Good exercise. We are heading to some friend's house tonight for the celebration of... Three Kings Day. Three Kings Day. I don't know what that is, but it's something really neat that we're gonna go celebrate. So, um, these friends of ours used to live in France. They're not French, they just live there for some of his schooling. Sunset going on over here. Jeremy's a big fan of sunsets. Me too! Oh, Elise is too. I, I like sunsets too. What are you guys reading? The Barrett's Bean Bears. Ooh, fun. I think that's also... Stirring the cheese in the fondue pot. Hey, the fondue is melted, the cheese. The fondue, the cheese. Oh, is that, the bubbles is the boiling. Yeah. yeah. Nice. It's, okay, it's steaming up the camera. So good. Hooray. It is so good. I know. So this is Landon. We went to law school together. We Not used a to, boring lawyer. <laughs> we used to wake up at six for uh, international moot court together. That was fun. Good memories. Good memories. Great memories. <laughs> Caleb's not so sure. He's not sure about the cheese. How about you, Isaac? What do you think? I love it. Yes. Melted cheese is awesome. And Laura thinks that she wants in. Hey. Oh, well. Okay, so I'm putting on the broccoli, the ham, and the bread into Triple the threat. cheesy goodness. Hey, Mom. This is rude. You're just making all the viewers hungry. Oh, yeah, fondue. Landon's going to explain to us what this the holiday is. And when they were come into the house, they saw the young child with Mary his mother, and fell down and worshipped him. And when they had opened their treasures, they presented unto him gifts. What were the gifts? Nailed it. Okay. So with the Galette de Roi, 
This is something that the Did French you guys catch that? It's the fin de moi <laughs> Did I say it right? What is it? Exactly. Galette des Rois. So it's a cake, a king's cake, a cake of the kings. Okay. Which is where we got a crown on here? Exactly. So this is what they do in France to celebrate Epiphany, which is on the liturgical or Catholic calendar, the day traditionally that the kings visited Jesus. I will cut up the cake. Step one. Step two, Mr. Caleb gets to go under the table. What? <laughs> Here's the catch. Inside the cake, there's a hidden piece. It's called, uh, in French they say le femme. It's a toy, Dad! Exactly. <laughs> it's a toy. And the person who finds the ceramic piece gets to be the king. And something I learned too, um, so the 12 days of Christmas, yeah. this yeah. comes from this is the end, end of it. Yeah. Actually, the 12 days of Christmas start after, after Christmas. Christmas. Okay, Caleb, who's next? Sabra. Right. Sabra. Sabra. Yay. All right. Caleb, who's next? I see my big brother. Your big brother? Big brother. Isaac. Awesome. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. I think that uh -oh. might be it, you guys. Look. Or why don't you take a really hard bite? Yeah, I think I found the porcelain <laughs> toy. What happened? There's a surprise toy inside. Oh. Yay! Daddy's the king for I'm the king! <laughs> yes! Yay! 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 Yay!